What's happening, guys? Welcome to Roller Drome. Now, we're not going to be playing this entire game. I've already played some of it. I wanted to really just show off what Roller Drome is and show why maybe you should play it. Let's just hop into a match and I'll show you. So, this is what I need to perform in order to clear some of these challenges. Um, all this will begin to make sense in a minute. The Roller Drome is essentially like a Tony Hawk pro skater third person shooter where your guns only resupply with ammunition as you do tricks. And you have to dodge and survive in this crazy event. And it's really, really precise, and you need to be very careful to not die. And you need to switch weapons a lot. And as you can see, I'm going for challenges. I missed what? Okay, got the kill. This game, I would say, encompasses a lot of stress and skill. You gotta be doing your best. Ooh, a lot. got health and the way you get health back is by dodging enemies uh, and killing enemies. I'll have to take a hit. Oh, I got him. Oh, we go. Did I see another? Yeah. So if you think this is something that you want to play, I'd, I highly recommend it because it's really good. He's got a little bio shield. I can't hit him. Oh, here's my sniper. He's right next to him. He'll trigger. But what you're seeing me do is get perfect slug shots. Those are really important. Oh, I forgot the dodge. The game is not easy. Not easy at all. Okay, okay. Got him, we got him. The healing. Let's go. I still have what the community calls overdodge when I dodge when I'm coming out of my shots. Um, I do that because the missiles, the missiles fuck you up. Let's go. 
So the enemies, they spawn in waves. I gotta do a playthrough where I show just the, the inputs, because the inputs alone are kind of nuts. Pick up these guns. You gotta keep moving because those missiles will slam into you and take out a bunch of your health. Bound or a grenade bounce. Need to Ooh, smack. Got that man in the face. The level of auto aim in this game is fantastic. It's so clean. Also, I finally figured out my camera position, I think. I've only been trying to get that figured out for months. Oh, preliminate a house player whilst performing an axle grind. Right, right, left. Perform a 25 combo. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Perform 10 unique grabs. I might be able to do that. So it's a lot of the same, like, Tony Hawk stuff where you go back in and you try to um, appease the media by doing specific tricks. Kind of like if you were to work for Thrasher today. Which is not me saying that Thrasher is a blood sport. That was a great shot from that. I don't know how to do 10 unique grabs. called a corner bounce you can do those um, off the ball reds and stuff you just have to time it right
Truck guns against the uh, riot guys are actually pretty solid. Even though you're intended to use the grenade launcher. Killed one, dude. Nice. On top of it, you only have so much time to shoot. why I'm not doing a playthrough. This game just requires a lot of focus. that perfect dodge in your grenade, you get a free grenade. It's huge. I recommend doing a lot of spins. So, dodging don't count as flips, just so you're aware. He tries to play this. popping off later on. Yeah, that's all I really wanted to make. Uh, I uh, Yeah, like I said, I was initially going to do a full playthrough of this game, but... Play this one for yourself. Um, their story is hidden in, like, these first-person segments, and that's where you get your story and stuff like that. And I was going through it, and I was like, okay, yes, the story is interesting, and I totally want to cover that, but... Uh, Maybe this is like a revisit game where I just talk about the story after I beat the game. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more like it, hit the like button. Um, I have not really experienced doing one-off videos like this, so uh, yeah. I gave it a shot. It's not my thing, but see how it goes. Later, everybody.